You can use the IBM Cognos Automation API to help you automate many of your tasks in IBM Planning Analytics for Microsoft Excel. Before you start using the API, there are a few steps you need to take to set up for it. First, you need to change some of the Trust Center settings in Microsoft Excel. To do this, open a new workbook. Click File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and then Macro Settings. Select Enable All Macros, and then enable the Trust Access to the VBA Project Object Model option, and then click OK. Next, you'll need to access the Visual Basic Editor. From the Options dialog, click Customize Ribbon. And then select the checkbox for the Developer tab in the Main Tabs pane. Then click OK. If the Developer tab wasn't already selected, you'll notice a new tab at the top of your screen called Developer. Click this tab. Then click Visual Basic. The Visual Basic Editor now opens. Next, you'll need to add a reference to IBM Cognos Automation. This allows you access to the IBM Cognos Automation API. Planning Analytics for Microsoft Excel has made this step easy for you. All you need to do is import a couple of files to the editor. To do this, right-click VBA Project, and then click Import File. Browse to your Planning Analytics for Microsoft Excel installation folder, and then open the Automation folder. Highlight the Cognos Office Automation example file, and then click Open. Repeat these steps again, but now for the Cognos Office Message Suppressor file. and then close the Visual Basic Editor. Next, you'll need to save the workbook. I'll call this one API Template and save it as an Excel Macro Enable Template. And that's it, you're all set. You can now use this template file to add and use IBM Cognos Automation API functions in your report. We'll go over how to do that in another video.